Thanks for tuning in to the Prime Bookseller Podcast, the bi-weekly podcast discussing all things Amazon bookselling. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Prime Bookselling Podcast. I'm Eric, and we're going to do a really quick, short, sweet episode here today for you. And what we're talking about today is I just want to give the basic blueprint of how If a client comes to us and is looking to set up an Amazon account for the specific purpose of book selling, what what do we specifically do? And many of you might be be out there thinking, well, God, this is going to be a complex episode, but it really is not. (laughs) The the fundamental pieces that you need to get your Amazon account up and running and, and selling is not very hard. There's only a couple pieces that we even apply to each store and we've been running bookstores for 13 years successfully using this exact formula. So what are those steps that we recommend everybody do with their account? Well, the first thing you got to do is get a sell- an Amazon selling account if you don't have one. So how do you do that? You go to sellercentral.com, sellercentral.amazon.com and get signed up for it there. That process can is long, rigorous, boring, lots of details, can take up to 10 days to get process is constantly changing so I'm not even going to go delve into how you go about getting it but um, things I've seen them ask for I've seen them have people get on zoom calls to confirm their identity I've seen them ask for utility bills with your name on it and address on it to confirm your identity so that by far that's the longest step right there is just getting that account so if you've gotten that done the hardest part of setting up your store is already completed so so what do we add on top of the just the basic seller account before we start selling books online? Um, there's basically, well, we talked about one of the critical pieces, and I think that this is something that everybody on their selling account from day one should de- go in, decide to do, and that's the automated fulfillment removal settings. Go in there. If you haven't listened to that episode, go back to the previous episode, listen to that Um, It goes into detail on how to configure those and definitely get those set up on your account immediately. The other thing that we do is we're going to add two pieces of third-party software to each account. One of them is a listing software. One of them is a repricer. I highly, highly recommend everybody from the get-go to have a repricer. Um, You can, if you're just getting started out, um, you can delay the repricer for a short period of time. But I highly recommend your, your business is going to have the most success if you have a repricer set up. Um, in the future, I'm going to try to put together some trainings and videos that will cover both the repricer and the listing software we're going to talk about in more detail. But those are down the road as of right now. So, but, so what you want to look at doing is first, most important, get that repricer. Um, I always use a repricer called Aura, A-U-R-A repricer. Um, by no means is this repricer like the end all be all only recommendation I have. In fact, I know a lot of people that use Be Cool. I think Be Cool and Aura are virtually the same thing. I just learned about Aura first, so that's the one I use. But you can also look at Be Cool. Um, if now Aura, Aura, I believe Be Cool only runs about 40 bucks a month, but Aura is like $77 a month, I believe. So those are kind of getting up in the higher price range. If you're looking to start this on a lower budget, there is one piece of software that I can recommend that I have used in the past. In fact, for probably the first 10 years of my business, I ran uh, my book business on a repricer called Reprice It, which works great. It actually has advantages over Aura in the sense that once you set it up, it just reprices for you without any further interaction from you, which I love which Aura, there's constant updates you have to do to it to make sure that it's properly repricing everything, which can be a good thing and a bad thing. So so you could look at these two options, but the first thing you need to do is look at one of these options, get it connected to your Amazon account. It's very important. None of these softwares will work unless you have a pro seller account. So when you set up your Amazon seller account, they're going to ask you if you just want a basic account or a pro seller you want a pro seller account, it does cost you $39.99 a month to get that pro seller account, but nothing that leverages the Amazon API will work without that account, without that pro seller account. 
So these repricers, you can try to connect them to Amazon. It just won't work because that they're blocking you from that API. So make sure you have that. You add the repricer on top of that, whether you want it to be reprice it or Aura. Um, I did forget to mention with reprice it. I do highly recommend that you can start with reprice it just if you're looking to start on a lower budget, prove that this system works before jumping to Be Cool or Aura. I do highly recommend at some point in time jumping to those because those reprice it uses an old repricing technology and aura uses a new repricing technology the newer repricing technology is far superior to what reprice it uses so basically what i what i'm telling you is when the the repricer gets more information from amazon to decide how to set your prices gets better information gets the information faster, so it just does a better job of repricing. So while I don't have a problem with repricing, I will tell you that that you are getting a better product with either Be Cool or Aura. And also, there is a good possibility at some point in time that the technology that repricing is running on is just going to go away. Amazon's going to get rid of it. They kind of release the technology that Aura uses to replace the technology that Reprice it uses. So at some point in time, you might just find out that that repricer is going to stop working or the repricer is going to have to go back and completely rewrite itself to work with the new technology. So you got you got three phases. So you got your Amazon seller central account. You've got your you were signed up as a pro merchant on that or a professional seller, whatever they call it these days, for $39.99 a month. You've re hooked up a repricer. You've also gone in and configured your Amazon your Amazon unfulfillable settings. Uh and then the the only final step in this step, I do I highly recommend as any seller, if you're legitimately looking at getting into this business. Um, for the long haul, I do highly recommend that at some point in time you get a repricer again or a listing software. Uh, the listing software we use with all of our clients is Inventory Lab. And as you may hear at the end of all these podcasts, when I preach about our our inventory services that Kingsridge Media offers to other sellers, um, Inventory Lab is a requirement of those services because if we're going to be prepping the books for you. I want my warehouse staff to be able to use a program they're familiar with and not whatever program you're using. So so that I do highly recommend you look at Inventory Lab. Unfortunately, Inventory Lab is one of the most expensive listing softwares out there. But I can tell you with all the softwares that I've used over the years, the one thing I can say, the reason why I've always stuck with Inventory Lab is because it just works. And not to say that the other ones don't work, but they're just not user friendly. Um, they're just tricky. Like it, 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 you sit, spend a lot of time sitting on the screen looking at, okay, how do I do this now? Like, cause there's buttons everywhere. They're just, it's just crazy sloppy looking and stuff like that, where inventory just walks you through. Anybody can do it. Cause it's just super, super simple. Now with the listing software, again, this is works like your repricer. It's plugging into that Amazon API. So again, you have to have the professional seller thing. Um, and you just go to inventorylab.com, sign up for an account, and connect it to your Amazon account, and boom, you're ready to go. Now, w as a startup thing, if you are, again, trying to cut back on costs just to get this going and you know prove to yourself that this is worth investing the money into, you can go out with go without that listing software because Amazon does provide through Seller Central the ability to list and sell items just through their web web interface. Um, the only thing I will tell you is is that their their system that they use it requires a lot of clicks on your mouse. It requires a lot of steps. It just takes a much longer time to list something than if you list a, use a listing software. So. It works if you want to get started, but I highly recommend as soon as you start scaling, one of the first things you do is add this listing software into it because it, it just makes that process so much simpler. You can process so many books through so much faster than you can using just the Amazon interface that it, it, it becomes a worthwhile money investment. And again, if you've heard about the KRM sourcing solutions, 
and you are immediately wanting to jump in and get some books from that again, you are going to be required to have Inventory Lab because I'm just not going to have my, my warehouse staff list books any other way because they don't need to learn 50 different softwares to <laughs> to for every seller's business. So, but really those are the three pillars that we set up and that we set up for an Amazon store. Now, I mean, we are 10 minutes into this podcast. You can tell that this is not a complex system. The hardest part is getting that Amazon account set up, which I thoroughly believe that anybody out there can set that Amazon account up because we because yes, there's a lot of steps. They ask for a lot of paperwork and things like that, but it's all very well defined, very simple to do. And everything else is basically just going up and setting up for signing up for web services or, you know, a website and then doing a basic setup to connect it to your Amazon account, which has gotten really easy. It's more or less you click a button, it takes you to Amazon, you sign in, it bounces you back to that service and says, now you're connected. So that is really all you need to have that backbone of your business set up. Hopefully this gives you a a good starting point if you're if you're at that point where like I'm on a solar account but I don't know what to do from here. Well, start with just getting these pieces set up and like I said if you want to cut out the listing, I I would highly recommend at least going reprice it is very cheap. It's only $10 a month. At least connect reprice it to your your um seller account from the get go at $10 a month so you have something repricing it. But the listing software very much if you know you're going to start this very slowly and you can handle listing the books through a long longer process which i i want to it doesn't take you like 10 minutes to list a book but you know inventory lab you can list a book in i don't know 20 seconds in 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 uh amazon it might take you 45 seconds so you can tell that like it, it speed, speeds up the process considerably by having that piece of software but but if you are going to cut one of these pieces of the software, I would start with Inventory Lab and you can go at it with, with the Amazon listing service to begin with and just at, at some point in time, you're going to get sick of it and you're going to want to, uh, you're going to, want to just ditch it. Um, the other big thing I would highly recommend for any beginning seller to get is on Amazon, you can find, just look up uh, USB barcode scanner. And for about 20 bucks, you can buy a, a US a handheld scanner that plugs into a USB port on your computer. And what that enables you to do is as you get books in, you just plug that in and you scan it and it scans the barcode on the back of the book. So you're not typing in the numbers for each book individually. It just, again, it's a $20 investment that makes your life just that much easier. And as you're getting started in a business, there's going to be a lot of things to learn and there's going to be a lot of challenges and things like that. So being actionable and trying to make it as simple as possible from the get-go is really important so you don't burn out, don't get frustrated, and give up because the most likely time that you're going to give up on your business is going to be at the beginning because you're going to be seeing the least amount of return for the work you're putting in and things like that. So anything you can do to give yourself a little bit of win or make your life a little bit easier is just going to increase your chances of success. So keep that in mind. We do also, we are happy at Kings Ridge Media. If you're just stuck on, I don't know how to set this store up. I don't know how to do any of these things. You can reach out to me. The email is sales, S-A-L-E-S at kingsridgemedia.com. Or just jump over to Kings Ridge Media and, and contact us through the website. But um, you can just reach out to us and we can have one of our team members get a hold of you and we can help you get set up on the account. Um, there are... It, there will be a charge for that, um, but it will be a nominal charge. It's going to more than likely, if you're following the basic system that we do here, uh, the total setup charge would probably be about $70 for you. And just realize I cannot set up your Amazon account for you. I can guide you through the process of setting up your Amazon account, but um, inevitably it's going to have to be you that gets in front of Amazon if they want to have a Zoom call with you or anything like that to get your account set up because they're not going to allow me to do that on your behalf. So uh, with that, that's really all I got for this episode. Um, hopefully this was helpful. And if, if anybody does want any assistance with getting their store up and running, you know, just 
feel free. Again, the email is sales at kingsridgemedia.com. And as always, please do check out, go to kingsridgemedia.com or check out the links in the show notes for our different sourcing opportunities for booksellers. Uh, We work with a number of sellers to get a a substantial amount of their inventory for their stores, and we'd like to help you with that as well. So uh, with that, I will be back in two weeks, and thanks everybody for tuning in to this episode. Thanks for listening to the Prime Bookseller Podcast. Join us for the next episode as we discuss all things Amazon bookselling.